You know, we had unions as part of our consultations in developing this platform, the, skill, uh, the building trades, uh, the CLAC union, uh, and others have helped to inform this policy. When I was Minister of Employment, I worked proactively with unions to ensure that, that they could benefit from federal uh, skills train, training funding. Um, we supported union skilled trades centers. We would continue to do that here. They, unions uh, take a, 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 um, a portion often of their collective bargaining agreement revenues, a check off, and they put that into skilled trades training. I think that's fantastic. I'd love to expand that. But uh, Emma, I would actually say the single most important factors in the German system, having studied it, are the employer engagement, because they're willing to hire 16, 17, eight year, 18 year olds um, and give them a paycheck to give them learning, uh, you know, uh, uh, experiential learning on the work, in the workplace. And if, I, if you don't mind my saying, the biggest problem we have here is that too many employers are freeloaders when it comes to training. We have one of the lowest levels of employer investment in skills training in the industrialized world, according to the OECD. That's shameful. Your Germany and those countries in Central Europe are at the top. We're at the bottom. I will do everything I can to, frankly, pressure employers to have more skin in the game. When I used to have employers coming to me demanding more temporary foreign workers, my response was, how much are you investing in training young Canadians? So we need Canadian employers to replicate what they do in Germany to invest in, a, in apprenticeship learning. And finally, the most important thing in the German system is the so-called parity of esteem, where they believe that, that trades and, and professions have equal status.